Hi there, welcome to a session on exchange rates. Let's take a look at a recent example of a currency that's been depreciating and think about some of the causes of that movement in the exchange rate. So keep in mind, a currency depreciation, of course, is when there's a fall, a decrease in the value of one currency relative to another currency or perhaps a basket of currencies. It means that the depreciating currency becomes weaker in the foreign exchange market. It's purchasing power against other currencies declines. A good example might be sterling, for example. It might depreciate from £1 buying $1.30 to £1 buying $1.15. That will be a fall. Of course, a depreciation happens inside a floating exchange rate system. Now, the example I'm choosing for you today is the Kenyan shilling uh, against the US dollar. You can see here that this is from 2019 through to 2023. And whereas it would have taken 105 shilling to buy a US dollar in 2019 in September there, you can see it now buy, it now takes 135, nearly 140 Kenyan shilling to buy a US dollar. In other words, the value of the Kenyan currency has depreciated against the US dollar. So why might this have happened? Think about Kenya as a developing, emerging economy. Why might their currency have depreciated against a range of currencies, in particular the US dollar. Well, here are three reasons. One is that there could have been a fall in capital investment into the Kenyan economy. Perhaps Kenya became less attractive to foreign direct investment. Um, foreign direct investment, of course, would be money being injected into the Kenyan economy. If there's a fall in FDI, there's less of that money coming in. Conversely, it could have been the other way around. Uh, investors, international investors, might have become nervous about the Kenyan economy. And there could have been some capital outflows, people selling the Kenyan currency and trying to convert into into something else. And uh, that would be known as capital flight. So typically when there is capital flight, a country's currency depreciates in value. Second reason could be a decline in an inflow in particular remittances. So a lot of Kenyans live and work overseas. They send some of the dollars or the euros that they earn back to the Kenyan economy, that represents a demand for Kenyan currency, ultimately. Now, if those remittances fall, that could cause the Kenyan currency to depreciate. And don't forget trade still matters when it comes to exchange rates. There could have been a big rise in the value or the spending by the Kenyan economy on imported goods and services. Perhaps Kenya is a net importer of energy, whose global price has gone up, or perhaps Kenya is having to import raw materials and components. If their net trade balance worsens, there's a net outflow of currency, which then causes the currency to depreciate. So there we go. Some of the reasons why the Kenyan currency might have depreciated. Thanks for joining in.